Hello there and welcome to this uh, video series Inside the Vault where we uh, talk about the ins and outs of the enzyme protocol. Um, before we dive in, um, let, me, let me say just simply that this is the part one of this video series, uh, which will be composed of different uh, parts. Um, in this part, we'll talk about uh, what is the enzyme protocol in its uh, version four, because uh, we've just launched uh, version four, uh, why enzyme is the, uh, uh, the operating system of the DeFi, um, what it means and why it matters. Um, then we're going to go on and we're going to play a bit and explore uh, the new uh, interface uh, of version 4. We're going to explore vaults, we're going to um, explore the asset universe, and uh, we're going to look at the, at the DeFi integrations that we have available. And finally, we're going to plug and play uh, Connect Wallet and uh, you know show you around a bit the inside. Um, uh, my name is Luca, and I'm part of the uh, of the Avangard Finance team. Uh, Avangard is the company that powers the Enzyme protocol, and is the one that actually takes care of uh, improving and developing, and you know making sure that you get the best possible DeFi experience. Um, Enzyme is the operating system that powers DeFi asset management. What does that mean? It means that it's a modular. Uh, protocol because you can design your own strategy uh, and you can aggregate different DeFi protocols and DeFi solutions into one single interface and place. Uh, it's composable because you can associate, uh, you can like create your unique combination of uh, DeFi integration and create your own strategy with it. And it's also extensible. That means that uh, it's not a static. Uh, uh, it's not a static product, but it's always evolving, and it can be adjusted and tailored to the specific needs of our, you know, of our audiences, depending also on the different use cases. Uh, you, talking about use cases, we have uh, different user types. Uh, we could have like funds, in, uh, indexes, simply passive indexes. Uh, lots of DAOs uh, that are managing their treasuries uh, through Enzyme. Also corporates that are looking into uh, getting yields on their idle treasuries, um, investment DAOs, and also, you know, like you name it, uh, protocols, different protocols that want to simply tap into uh, our battle-tested uh, and very much audited uh, code and simply shave off a lot of, a lot of uh, time from their uh, launch or time to market. So that's also another very interesting use case. So we have different things, and obviously the main value proposition of, of uh, Enzyme is its, it's, it's simplicity, because like DeFi is getting more and more complex by the day, more and more solutions come out, and it's very complex to manage them all together in a seamless way. So Enzyme is built exactly for that, to bring together all these solutions, I would say the best of DeFi, and allow users to actually have a very simple interface, which is, is intuitive, which allows to create composable strategies, which has reporting 24 seven with NAV and share price, which has like uh, ERC20 tokenized shares for every vault, has automation for the fees, because you know, like you can have management, performance uh, fees like carry, uh, you can have like entry or exit fees, you can have different setups and you can combine them in a way that you will actually uh, prefer. You can also have programmable risk management, uh, for example, setting the maximum slippage that is tolerated. Uh, you can define different, uh, like which adapters you can, uh, you want to use or you're like based on your risk tolerance uh, are, you know, you're allowing uh, your managers to use. So you can do a lot of things. And uh, so it's it's hard to, to, to actually pinpoint one description for Enzyme because there's so many descriptions for it. Uh, very interesting to know, important to know for you guys, um, Enzyme is uh, now deployed on, on Polygon as well. Uh, we used to be on Ethereum only and now we're Polygon. Uh, we're fully deployed on Polygon since a couple of weeks. And clearly, uh, you know, as you approach the Enzyme uh, protocol, you have to decide whether you want to go or on on one or the other. You know, and so obviously that that that, that is the first decision you have to make. Um, first, and I would say like the most important, like the most uh, obvious thing, not the most important maybe, but the most obvious is that uh, creating a vault can be uh, much cheaper with Polygon, um, around like a thousand times cheaper actually, uh, which is a factor, especially for like smaller. 
uh, asset manager with uh, with like I say like our especially with a retail uh, uh, customer or like target audience in mind. Uh, different different mindset or different type of needs would be uh, of course for DAOs or for like big corporate treasuries. And you have to consider that uh, on Ethereum you have many more assets, uh, around 250 uh, assets available in our universe and, and growing and counting. Whereas on the Polygon interface, you have around 50 assets, which is more or less what's available with a reliable, a reliable price feed on, on Polygon. So in the end, ultimately, it's actually a matter of, uh, of trade-offs. Uh, there's pros and cons in every solution. So it's up to you to really like to find the best uh, solution considering like costs and var variety or like, you know, like pot potential solutions or potential for DeFi integrations, which is obviously Ethereum being the king in that respect. Um, let's dive in a bit more in theory, because uh, I think it's important to have this, this type of over overview or what, uh, how like how the schematic framework is for for the enzyme protocol you have users uh, which could be like in dow treasuries companies uh independent managers or fintech uh, DF that wants to get into DeFi. all these guys they have to create their own wallets uh or multi-signature wallets so it can be like a metamask or it can be a hypnosis like, safe or other solutions uh, that are allow for multi-signatures um once you have your deposit sorry once you have your funds in your um in your uh, wallet you can deposit them you can connect to the protocol and you can deposit your assets onto uh, one of these non-custodian vaults of course it's always non-custodial and the moment you deposit uh, the protocol the smart contract mints uh, shares and so you receive in your wallet in exchange for this deposit you receive tokenized vault shares um, of course then you can do um, quite a few things with it with your funds uh, once once they're deposited um, yeah but before we go there let's say you can uh, whitelist uh, depositors and adapters you can define your strategy um, and allocate into different assets as you please you can charge management uh, fees and performance fees you can define a slippage maximum slippage that is tolerated mm, of course if you have if you delegate it to somebody else which you uh, trust but you want to somehow uh, supervise and uh, of course you get like the like the analyst out of the box you get the analytics and the 24 7 reporting all into one very simple dashboard so this is what you see in the surface in the front end but in the back end there's lots of lots going on under the hood and this is the uh this is the the the, the right hand side which is all the say native integrations that we have at smart contract level uh, with all these protocols and we have integration we have adapters that integrate with uh, trading protocols like paraswap kyber zero x uh, uniswap you name it um, we have lending and borrowing protocols like ave compound we've just enabled the actually the, the borrowing features so you can also borrow money, not just uh, earn yields on lending. Uh, you can optimize yields with uh, Curve, with Convex, and you can soon use Uniswap version three for liquidity mining. And you also have like you also have some other integrations in the future. I mean, uh, our roadmap is always uh, is always there to evolve and change and and and, and improve. And Right now, you also have Polygon, which allows for some more basic stuff, but you, you already have some uh, interesting opportunities with, uh, with Aave and, and, and Curve uh, to do some, uh, uh, some lending that earns yield on your assets. All right, so we talked about, uh, earlier we talked about modularity, composability, and extensibility. So I wanna show a little bit more like how, how this is uh, done in, in practice, because you could have, for example, one strategy that is like like that is choosing the module of like using Sparrowswap for trading and uh, boosting yields on USDC and ETH using the combination of Curve and uh, and Convex. Uh, you could have, for example, another setup, another configuration, which is I I want to deposit Ethereum, then I want to take some uh, loans that I can then used to uh, put into Uniswap version 3 that I can do, do some liquidity mining with. So that could be another totally different setup. And for example, I could just say I'm going to go on Polygon and therefore I, I, I just uh, I use the lending features that uh, you have there. 
Yeah, so that's uh, that's uh, for like modularity and composability because you see you can you can define your own configuration and strategy, and in terms of extensibility, you can then like go and come or, or contact us, request uh, you know special stuff or custom stuff. Uh, the most simple one I would say is your like wide label solution, which is I, I think one of the most requested so far, which means that uh, you can have. Uh, like you can have the backend infrastructure of uh, of Enzyme with its uh, very very well tested and secure uh, uh, code, but you can have the interface uh, of your own brand, your own uh, top level domain. Uh, people can go in onto your website, your URL, and be able to deposit and withdraw. And that's going to be available very soon, and um, that's going to allow you to like control 100% end to end the customer journey. Anyway. Enough for for now for the theory. Uh, in uh, the next video, we're gonna dive in uh, all the features directly from the interface. See you next time.